All right. If you guys are struggling with your gut health, you need to be thinking about cortisol because of two primary components of our physiology. The first has to do with redistribution of blood flow. So when we are in a flight or fight high cortisol state, our body naturally diverts blood away from our gut. It's what our body does. But the other thing that happens secondarily is this. In a high cortisol state, our body moves to conserve our resources. And it does this through reducing the amount of thyroid hormone and the effectiveness of the thyroid hormone that we actually make. So there's a double whammy for high cortisol in the gut. We've got redistribution of blood flow, and we also have a relative hypothyroid state. And we all know that when you're in a hypothyroid state, your gut doesn't work as well. You tend towards constipation. There are two reasons why cortisol influences your physiology neither are good. And if you want to know more about the other components of our physiology driven by cortisol, I'd recommend that you look into the description of this video, click on the link and check out a video where I go through the four components of our health that are driven by cortisol and the steps that you can take to begin to feel better. I'll see you there.